Hello KLS crew and welcome back to another Fortnite Battle Royale video. In this video we will be looking at the week 7 challenges for season 9. Before we start, please note that obviously my voice is a robotic voice that was sampled from a text to speech software, so there may be mispronunciations or spelling errors. Please try to excuse these. Just so you know, since the start of Season 8 you could put challenges as your party assists so you can complete challenges with players in your lobby so if you struggle with one, set it as your party assist and you can complete it with other players in your lobby. Let's start by looking at an overview of the challenges before we go into the details. There are three challenges you can do if you don't have the paid battle pass. The first challenge of the three unpaid battle pass challenges is, Search chests at Junk Junction or Neo Tilted and is worth 5 battle stars or 500 XP if you are at tier 100. The second challenge is, search ammo boxes in different named locations and is worth 5 battle stars or 500 XP if you are at tier 100. The third challenge is, suppressed weapon eliminations and is worth 10 battle stars or 1000 XP if you are at tier 100. The next four challenges can only be done by players who have bought the paid battle pass. The fourth challenge is, deal damage to opponents while riding in a vehicle and is worth 5 battle stars or 500 XP if you are at tier 100. The fifth challenge is a stage challenge and the first stage out of three is, visit the block and loot lake in a single match and is worth 1 battle stars or 100 XP if you are at tier 100. The second stage out of three for the fifth challenge is, visit Fatal Fields and Neo Tilted in a single match and is worth two battle stars or 200 XP if you are at tier 100. The final stage for the fifth challenge is, land at Snobby Shores and Mega Mall in a single match and is worth two battle stars or 200 XP if you are at tier 100. The sixth challenge is, search a chest, use a vending machine, and a campfire in a single match and is worth 10 battle stars or 1000 XP if you are at tier 100. The seventh and final challenge is, eliminations from 5 meters or less and is with 10 battle stars or 1000 XP if you are at tier 100. And if you complete all that, and every other previous weeks, you can unlock a secret battle star or secret banner. This week it's a secret battle star and the location of the battle star will be revealed in the details. Now let's go into the details of the challenges for this week. The first challenge is, search chests at Junk Junction or Neo Tilted and if you search 7 chests you can get 5 battle stars or 500 XP. Neo Tilted is the biggest place so it does have more chests however it is right in the center of the map so it might be more popular so if that's the case, Junk Junction does still have a few chests and is most likely to be a lot less popular. The second challenge is, search ammo boxes in different named locations and if you do this in 7 different named locations you can get 5 battle stars or 500 XP. Simply just land at a different location every match or get a vehicle and go to a different location and find an ammo box and you should get this challenge done. The third challenge is, suppressed weapon eliminations and if you get 3 eliminations you can get 10 battle stars or 1000 XP. For this challenge you can only use the following. Epic and Legendary Suppressed Sniper Rifle. Rare and Epic Suppressed Pistol. Play Team Rumble as you will have multiple chances to get an elimination. The best weapon is most likely going to be the Suppressed Pistol as it is quite easy unless you are good at sniping. If you don't play Team Rumble, play duos or squads and when you knock someone, Finish them with those weapons as this will count as the elimination. The fourth challenge is, deal damage to opponents while riding in a vehicle and if you deal 200 damage you can get 5 battle stars or 500 XP. Team Rumble is a good game mode as you will come across lots of players giving you a high chance of dealing damage. Do not use the baller as you can't even deal damage with these. You could use the quad crasher and set this challenge as your party assist and get a teammate to get in the back. If you don't have a teammate then you will have to switch seats. 
but the best vehicle is the drift board as you can control it by yourself and deal damage at the same time. The fifth challenge is a stage challenge and the first stage out of three is, visit the block and loot lake in a single match and if you visit these locations you can get 1 battle stars or 100 xp. Land at loot lake as there are some vehicles at the east side of loot lake. The second stage out of three for the fifth challenge is, visit fatal fields and neo tilted in a single match and if you visit these locations you can get 2 battle stars or 200 xp. Land at Neo Tilted as there is a slipstream right next to Neo Tilted so you can go in there and quickly use the slipstream to go to Fatal Fields. The final stage for the fifth challenge is land at Snobbish Shores and Neo Tilted in a single match and if you visit these locations you can get 2 Battle Stars or 200 XP. Land at Snobbish Shores and go to the northernmost house as there are UAD Crashers that spawn there so if you get one you can drive to Mega Mall. The sixth challenge is, search a chest, use a vending machine, and a campfire in a single match and if you do all this you can get 10 battle stars or 1000 xp. You could either go to lonely lodge as there are two vending machines to spawn, lots of chests, and tons of campfires. Or you could go to shifty shafts as the vending machine and campfire are quite close together but there is only one vending machine and campfire so that might be quite difficult to get. The final challenge for week 7 is, eliminations from 5 meters or less and if you get 3 eliminations you can get 10 battle stars or 1000 xp. Use a shotgun for this one as it's quite easy. Be casual you'll need to be quite close to players, a tactical shotgun would be good. And if you complete all that, there is a secret battle star to unlock this week. The location of said battle star is in pressure plant on the set of stairs. And that is all the challenges for week 7. Thanks for watching and we hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy or this guide helped you with your weekly challenge, be sure to leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. Also feel free to leave a comment and we will read all of them. Also, we are desperate to do other videos like compilations so if you want your Fortnite clips in one of our videos then check the description on how to do it. Turn notifications on as we upload these videos every week. Once again, thanks for watching. Bye.